today is all about the NMC Pro Snowblower. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a how-to video. We don't do very many of these, but I was contacted by North Mining Company by T-Bone. Said, can you give me a hand? Absolutely. I want to help you guys out with this because this piece of equipment right here is amazing. This is great, but some people don't know how to use it. So today we're going to fix that. I'm going to make sure that you guys know exactly how to use this so that you will be perfect on your farm. So first up, what is it? Where is it? And how do you use it? The NMC 320H Pro Snowblower. This can be found in tools. It's going to be found in miscellaneous. And you're going to go over, eh, I would say a little bit more than halfway, maybe a little bit even more than that. And it's going to be right here. Now you can see at the bottom, this will handle any crop. And that is true. Any crop that's on the ground, this will take it and shoot it off left, right, straight, wherever. So we can see that we have a three meter working with nine mile per hour working speed. However, this thing will take off. So what you need to do is set it at nine miles per hour and you will be totally fine. At the bottom it says a snow blower clears fallen snow by blowing it to the side. Let's pop in. Main color, of course, we start with a red. However, it goes with any color that you like. You guys can choose any color. For the ones that we've got today, I've chosen a class green and a jet black. We also have three different attachment options. We have one with a three-point hitch and a PTO, and the other, which is a wheel loader. Oh yeah, you could use this with a wheel loader. The price is very cheap as well, $7,950. For something that you're gonna buy and maybe have it sitting on your farm, this isn't too shabby, not at all. Let's take a look, again, very standard. You could put this on the front, you could even put it on the back if you really wanted to. Plus, over here, We've got it on the wheel loader. Ba-bam! Just right there. Now, both of these are set. I haven't unfolded. I haven't done anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the class right here. We have the, uh, what was it, the 960? Yeah, the 960 Axiom Terra Track. We're going to jump in here and take a look at the controls. So we've got our help window up now, and I have an Xbox One controller attached to my PC. And so those are the controls that you guys are going to see today. So we've got Detach, Select Tool, um, and select camera. All that is normal if we hit left bumper. We get lift snow blower so we can lift and raise this up. That is nice. We've also got turn on snow blower. Okay, well, we need to unfold the pipe first. So let's go and turn this on. And let's see, unfold the pipe. So pipe out. Now, here's where people get a little bit confused because they turn the pipe on, they turn this on, and then they go. And it works for about a second, but doesn't shoot anything out because you need to overload it. So if I hit left one or uh, R1 right bumper or both of them together, I don't see any options for overloading. However, I do get an option for turning it and lowering it. So we're going to lower up. Oh, and did you see that unload here just popped up because the angle this is right over there there's nothing over there for this to shoot into so what we need to do is we need to bring this down you may ask yourself well why why does it allow you to do that because sometimes you need to throw snow up and there is something up there so this gives you the option to do that but for us we don't want that we're just going to put it eh, we'll say halfway in between somewhere around there that's going to be perfect and now we get the unload here and so we are going to unload here I'm going to set my cruise control at 9 miles per hour. And would you look at there? Perfect snow blowing. No issues whatsoever. Now, there are some caveats to this. Things that you need to know to make this work for you. First off, you need to own the land that you are going to be spraying. So, spraying? Uh, clearing. So, if you don't own the land that you're going to be either clearing or spraying into well then it's not going to work for you Ooh, let's get the snowman yeah got him it's not going to work if i didn't own the land around here right now this would not work we need to own the land this is just like working the land or anything like that you've got to own it but look at this absolutely perfect there is nothing wrong with this mod at all it's just the controls that are a little bit confusing to start with but the biggest thing 
just get that down. So you can see now we've got it shooting up and it doesn't work. However, if we bring it down a little bit, it works just fine. And look at that. I mean, that is one heck of a shoot on there. You don't need it all the way up, but you could do just like that. What if we spray this in front of us? What if we keep moving the same pile of snow over and over and over again? Well, we're gonna have to slow it down just a little bit. Will it work? Oh yeah. Uh, will it work? <laughs> we're doing it. Yeah, well, not that fast, but see, it will work though. We can make this pile of snow as big as we want. And as long as we leave it on there, it's still going to work. We'll have to go a little bit slower, but it's still going to work. So that is super cool, super awesome. I think this mod is incredible. Let's go ahead and get this huge pile of snow that we made <laughs> moved off to the side. Just like in real life, you may have to go over it down a little bit. That's okay. It's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with the mod. It's just the control of it that is a little bit interesting. So once you get that down, you will be perfectly fine and you can move snow. Now, that is with the three-point hitch version. What about with the wheel loader one? What's different? In one word, nothing. Nothing is different here. The only thing that you're really gonna have to do is make sure you get your angle set. Make sure you've got that work appro appropriately, but it's all the same. Let's go ahead and turn the HUD on. Let's take this again, just like normal. So there is no lower and raise. That is all done manually. So that control is not there. Uh, but, so we've got here. Oh yeah, I love that, doing that, that's so cool. So let's pipe out. There we go. Let's lower the pipe, just like that, till we get the unload. We're gonna hit unload here and turn it on. We've got our cruise set, let's see, is it eight right now? Let's set that to nine, and guess what? We're rocking and rolling, baby. It is all exactly the same. We are doing good. Now, you may ask yourself, why do we have two versions of this? Why is there a three-point and wheel loader? Options. That's it. Options. You get the option to do whatever you want. Now, the biggest thing here, let's try this out. What I'm going to do is we're going to bring this down. It's right there to where it works. And we are going to turn this around like here. Now, we own this land, so oh, I wonder if we can spray ourselves. Oh, we got to find that out. Uh, no. <laughs> we can't spray ourselves, so that is, that's at least that. Let's turn it this way. So, we're now shooting it out there. No problem whatsoever. What if, what if we didn't own this? You can see 28 right here. We own the road, but what if, sell, sell, sell. Now let's go. Hmm. Now it's not working anymore, is it? Nope. Because we don't own that land. You've got to own the land if you want it to work. So you can see we're pointing over there. It doesn't work. What happens if we bring it back over here? Now it works again. So you have to own the land if you want it to work if we bring this back over here and point it over there we don't own that land therefore it's not going to work but if we put it back over here now we've got ourselves stuck there we go so this works it works perfectly fine but you need to make sure you've got your controls set appropriately you need to make sure that the auger in the front make sure that that is pointing the right way don't point it up because it ain't gonna work <laughs> Bring it down, and you'll be perfectly fine. It's still going to get... Ooh, about to crash. It's still going to get it out of the way. You're going to be okay. Oop, we don't own that land, so we'll have to go a little bit further this way. Just like plowing, anything like that. So, what I need for you guys to do now is drop down in the comment section below. Tell me, be like, yep, I knew how to use it before. Or, hey, DJ, thanks. I didn't know how to use it. Now I do, and now I'm going to use it all the time. Let me know down in the comment section below. I will also leave a link to T-Bone's Facebook page and YouTube channel. Great guy. Awesome stuff going on over there at North Monty Company. He is one of two people that do the mods for North Monty Company. You guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Join the Goham fam. And let me know down in the comment section below. Again, 
Did you know how to use this or was this video helpful to you? With all that being said, I hope you have a great, wonderful rest of your day. We will see you later. Peace.